When it rains, it will pour on Thursday. Good Wednesday night, East Tennessee. David Aldrich, Captain Accurate here from the Captain Accurate Weather Command Center. Well, you can see from the ultimate Doppler radar, things have quieted down. But why are some of the counties in the plateau shaded green? Because they're under aerial flood watches that last until midday central time on Thursday. So there will be some locally heavy rain. Some of those green counties could be expanded here. Depends on how things set up during the day tomorrow. By the way, this weather report brought to you by Madlock Tire Service and Auto Repair. They are thy sponsor for the Ultimate Doppler Radar. They have five convenient locations. If you need a new set of tires, maybe your tires need rotating, maybe you need an oil change, Madlock Tire Service and Auto Repair is the way to go. By the way, flood watch in effect till 1 o'clock Eastern, 12 noon Central. If you're traveling in these areas, it's also important to note that that's where the locally heavy rain may start first. Watch this closely. You can see there's some heat concerns in places like Little Rock, excessive heat, Memphis heat advisories, Birmingham and Huntsville also under heat advisories heading into tomorrow. Lots of clouds initially today, then the sun popped out, so it's been like a typical summertime pattern. If you wait long enough, it'll change. So that's the way things have been developing during the last six hours, and you can see a lot of the clouds are thinning out as we speak. High temperature today, given the rain we had in spots this morning, only took us to the upper 70s. I was expecting 83, but said multiple times this morning, during the Facebook Live, don't be surprised if you don't get out of the upper 70s. We picked up four hundredths of an inch of rain officially at the airport sunsets at 8.50 tonight. As you can see, they did hit low 80s in Sevierville, Middlesbrough, and Morristown, but 79 in Oak Ridge, 76 only high there in Crossville, Lake Tansy, and Fairfield Glade in Cumberland County. Now, they did hit 93 in Memphis. But compare and contrast that to Johnson City, they hit 81, so a big cool area, certainly here in East Tennessee. We've got the concern for isolated flash flooding. No, no, that's the green areas. We're going to go all the way up to yellow tomorrow. So that would be scattered flash floods that may be mainly localized. And look where they put it. It goes well beyond the flash watch, or the flood watch, I should say, for the plateau. It covers most of East Tennessee for the possibility of scattered flash flooding. So why would the National Weather Service be different than the Weather Prediction Center? Well, sometimes they can disagree and they say, hey, this is the spot to watch. So like I said, this is an evolving situation. Be mindful that when it rains, it's likely to pour. Now, let me show you a couple of the future rainfall graphics. This is not gospel, but it's just guidance, but it takes us through 5 p.m. Thursday. Now, some of you say, that's not a lot of rain, not yet, but give it some time, maybe about an inch around Knoxville, maybe an inch around Crossville. Other models say, no, no, might be a little bit less. Some might be a lot more, but this takes us through 5 p.m., a different model, uh, and it shows over an inch in places like Oneida and La Follette and some areas in yellow closer to inch and a half to two just across the state line. And Middlesbrough, 1.3, Jonesville, 1.3. So it really depends on where these storms take up residence. More storms expected on Thursday. Fewer storms on Friday, but good news for the Granger County Tomato Festival. I might add it's the 30th anniversary. That's a big deal. Uh, trending drier, maybe a stray shower for the weekend, but outside of that it looks okay looking ahead down the road. Now, I mentioned we have a lot of green areas uh, in Middle Tennessee. That includes Nashville, includes the Plateau. That's all issued by the National Weather Service in Nashville, but the storm potential on Thursday will be aided by storm development with this flow of air in the upper level parts of the atmosphere. So a couple of rounds of storms are going to be possible. Some could be strong to severe right through the heart of our viewing area. Storm Prediction Center pointing out there could be some uh, isolated severe storms during the course of tomorrow. Uh, they put a numerous spot there in orange right between Colorado. Uh, Oklahoma and Kansas. Back home, there's some areas around Charlotte and maybe over toward Lexington where they might have some scattered severe storms, but really it's right up to just, uh, just north of Jellicoe where it might be a little more active. Knoxville, Maryville, Morristown, and Oak Ridge, maybe some isolated severe storms on Thursday. We move ahead to Friday, a couple of hot spots maybe near Denver, isolated spots for severe storms in Atlanta, but back here we could still find some uh, locally heavy rain but the chance for severe weather diminishes. Now, even at 11 o'clock tonight, even though there's not much showing up now, still the hint that something could form. But of course, we need some clouds before we see the rain ready to turn. Now, this wants to put it right around seven in the morning, right through midday. You say, man, it's, it's coming down in buckets and in spots it may, but the trend is to take it down a notch for the drive home on Thursday. Maybe another round comes in Thursday night and before the 7 a.m. time frame. But once this front gets out of here, I left a 40% chance of rain Friday. Front's not gone. 
Uh, it's maybe not having the same impact, but there's still a possibility of some showers on Friday. Some of the models are a little quicker getting that front out of here. So I'm hopeful we'll have a nice Saturday and we'll have a nice Sunday outside of maybe a stray shower on Saturday. So here's our forecast. We're looking for a valley planter overnight tonight down to 70, normal low or average low, is in fact still 69 degrees. Looking for a low of 69 in La Follette, Caraville, Jacksboro, 69 Oak Ridge, 68 for Newport, 68 for Morristown, Talbot, White Pine. Oh, tonight, partly to mostly cloudy. Might be partly cloudy now, maybe mostly cloudy by the time you get up out the door tomorrow. Showers and storms on the increase, and so that stays with us on Thursday. If we only had 78 today, we may be pie in the sky to get to 81 tomorrow. But winds will be about 5 to 10, could be gusting a little bit higher with an individual storm. Big difference from Teleco Plains and, say, Oneida. Maybe 7 degrees from north to south. 83 for Middlesboro, 80 for Oak Ridge. I've got us at 79 in Morristown for a high on Thursday afternoon. Here's your Captain Accurate Weather Authority forecast for Knoxville and East Tennessee. 86 Friday, 85 on Saturday. Big Granger County Tomato Festival. Good weather. Less humid, too, especially when we could dip to 63 Sunday morning. That may be a low spot in the humidity, at least for temporary purposes. 89 on Monday and Tuesday. Maybe a stray shower there on Monday and Wednesday. We could be back into the lower 90s. By the way, keep track of it all using the Captain Accurate Weather app. If you're not familiar with this app, it's free to download, free to use. Just go to the App Store Google Play. It has Pete Michaels traffic on it all the time. You can tap it. Gives you that weather uh, traffic report. Weather and traffic perfect together. And you get Pete Michaels information uh, just on tapping his little rectangle on the app. But I love it because it also works fantastic on the app and works great on the iPad, I should say. So whether it's App Store, Google Google Play, check us out, you'll think you'll like it. And you'll also get all the National Weather Service alerts, plus three extras, plus lightning. I could go on and on. Anyway, my name is David Aldridge. Some people call me Captain Accurate. It's not easy being accurate, so weather doesn't surprise you. We'll see you here next time. Take care.